Several months ago, I made a video breaking down modern martial really artists. I was shocked at the reaction that a video about a boxer from the 1920s received, to say the least. I was bombarded with strange references to jet engines and anti <laughs> Dempsey roll. People were referring to the popular boxing anime, Hijame no Ippo. And taking their advice, Ooh, I decided to watch What it. a weird way to pronounce it. I was surprised to find that not only is Hijame no Ippo an incredible Hijame no Ippo? Show, <laughs> that it contained a myriad of legitimate boxing techniques and knowledge. The moves are exaggerated in their illustration. While some get a little over the top, most portrayals of the techniques actually enhance it. It makes boxing fight. really hype though. Oh yeah, the yeah. smash! <laughs> look at that! That does look really hype. Okay, so yeah, that moment that, that moment right there is like one of my favorite in the entire fucking show. Cause like 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 I'm so glad that you put that up front. Yeah, yeah. Because okay, when he's fighting, alright, he's fighting this dude, right? Uh Rocky, or they, they, he's like Manuel Rocky, he's like whatever, like that's mm. a, everyone cheers that for his name. Like when they're boxing, he does a thing that's not an uppercut and like not a hook, it's in between, it's kind of like a diagonal okay. thing, and it's called a smash, okay, right? And that's his signature move. And then, like, he does, he when he does it, he gets really low, uh -huh. and then like shoots Just it upwards, like with coil. velocity, yeah. right? Exactly. And, like, there's points where, because it's a manga, obviously, you're going to exaggerate shit and whatnot. Like, look at his arm. That guy's arm, like, yeah. kind of <laughs> snakes out, and he does, like, this kind of, like, snake strike. Um, but this, this like, particular one is there's a point where, like, he he's boxing, and uh -huh. then, like, he's jabbing, and then, like, he puts his guard up, uh, the main character. Yeah. And then, like, when he puts his guard back down, the ring is empty. Right? Uh -huh. And he's like... What the fuck? Where did he go? And it's literally like it's just an empty ring, and he's looking left and he's looking right, and he can't find him. And it's because he's on, on the, the he's on the ground like this, right there, sliding yeah, yeah. towards him in the middle of doing this Maximum uppercut. Motion. Yeah, from below. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sick. It's like and it's because it's anime time. It's yeah. like JoJo time, practically, right? Yeah. When they're like thinking out a monologue in the middle of of a, a backflip, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like that where like it's a solid like maybe like four or five seconds of like where is he <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, it's so hype it's so good this is their signature moves. teaching the viewer a bit of boxing history each episode so without further ado I'm excited liver blow to the real boxing move Dempsey roll of Hajime no yeah the first move is the gazelle punch popularized by heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson Floyd's gazelle punch requires crouching down to load up power and putting most of your weight onto your lead leg before exploding forward to cover massive distance. Mm. The movement is fairly dangerous, requiring incredible speed and timing. The show acknowledges mm. this by having Evo train at it relentlessly over several weeks. When he finally unleashes the move in a fight, it turns out to be just as reliable for him as it was for Patterson. Other fighters who heavily utilize the gazelle punch include Roy Jones Jr., so, Rocky Marciano. like, there's a lot of things in the world that, like, an anime will come along and inspire people to do the thing in real life, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, uh, skateboarding got huge because of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Right, right. You know, uh, a lot of people got into whatever because of thing. Um, I, In fact, we uh, there's a dude I knew who, like, went to law school because of Phoenix Wright, <laughs> Ace Attorney. You know what I mean? So, it's wild yeah, out yeah. there. What um, was this, like you know entry letter <laughs> i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know but it's 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 become kind of a thing mm -hmm. uh when and in fact yeah like a lot of nascar drivers now are people who actually were just gamers right. who like drove and played the video games mm -hmm. and then they did them at such a level that like when the games overlap with reality almost one to one mm -hmm. you can now just be a professional because mm -hmm. you know exactly how to do it right <laughs> um that's just crazy uh but like in boxing, right? When you go to the real gym and you're like doing the moves and everything, like you definitely have to. You're like, okay, don't get in your, don't fucking play an anime scene in your head when you're doing this shit. You got to take it seriously, yeah. do it, and have respect for it. And like, so 
99.9% of the time, you're just focused on what you're supposed to be doing. Yes. But the moment you land a fucking <laughs> sick combo yes, yes. and it sounds You've good and you get monologue going in your head. You just like in my head just did it, did it, did it, did it. Like the theme song starts playing. You're like, no! <laughs> Suppress the anime. <laughs> Put it back down. Take it seriously. But just like the moment you get it good, it's like, oh, let's go. <laughs> you have to suppress it. 99.9% of the time, you take it dead serious, but that 0.1%, like, oh, That's so good. for just a second, and then you're like, all right, you know? Like, it's like when the coach is just like, yeah, nice, nice, good yeah, shit, good work, yeah. you know, you're just like, mm-hmm, okay. A little nod, but on the inside, just raw. Yep, yep, <laughs> the yeah. anime, the theme is playing, yeah, there's yeah. fire in the background, I'm fucking, there's smoke, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, you can't get caught in it, you know? It's kind of like, it's like, I mean, there's a whole thing about, like, people with, like, elaborate intros, and then they just walk into the ring and get annihilated. Oh, every time. You, you know? Or you talk the most shit. Exactly. And then, exactly. Yes. So, it's it's a little bit of that, you know? Mm-hmm. Don't get, don't start feeling yourself and dancing and... You have a little bit of humility. Exactly. Yeah. And Smoke and Joe Frazier. Next up is the liver blow. Liver shots are one of the most painful experiences a human being can go through. I've heard the feeling described as having one section of your body suddenly shifted mm. to an entirely different part in the span of a second. Yep, you don't got to get knocked out in the head, man. The liver shut down I've never heard of a liver brain. shot. You can, you can, hit, you can work the body yeah. until the person can't stand anymore. Well, yeah, like I'm seeing these yeah. videos. Shit. It's not all about a knockout to the head. Himself uses this blow to intercept a smash punch. Dodges it. Yeah. Boom. What is a smash punch? In the show, the smash is used by Ippo's opponent, Sendo, and proves extremely destructive, breaking through Ippo's guard and forcing him back against the ropes. In real life, the punch was named by his creator, Razor Ruddock, the mm. heavyweight champion who fought in the era mm. of Tyson, and in fact, fought Mike Tyson. This Full hip rotation on that, too. Mm-hmm. You exactly see the whole body turn with it. As much as you can. Ruddock would drop his hand down low and open himself up on purpose to get his opponent to open his guard. Mm. He would then bend his arm and Bait. fire a loaded straight punch up into Pow. the Wow! God damn, yeah, it's powerful. dude. Woo! And is even more dangerous to attempt than the gazelle punch. Yeah, it's... Next up is the flicker jab and chopping right cross. It's an awkward angle. Yeah. These weapons are used by one of Ippo's opponents, Mashaba. Mashaba's style is based off a famous boxer, Thomas the Hitman Hearns. Hearns won five titles in five weight classes mm. and stood toe to toe with some of the greatest boxers in history. Long reach. He used loose, flowing jabs that came in at odd angles to wear down his opponent's guard. Hmm. These flicker jabs created openings and blocked his opponent's vision, setting up his devastating chopping right. See, the fun chopping part too right hand is, a powerful cross is that like that shit also has become like super quintessential in a number of like fighting games as well oh yeah so like in uh the boxing character uh, in uh tekken steve Mm -hmm. fox has like a bunch of these moves that same flicker kind of thing Mm -hmm. there's a character in uh, in king of fighters that does like a loose arm kind of flicker hit as well like there's a lot of places where it's like they any anytime you see someone's arm just kind of disappears and becomes like a long range thing Mm -hmm. it's straight up taken after this you know um and like, but what you're seeing is again that's the animification <laughs> yes. of a of a of, of a real life concept, yeah, yeah. you know. And you just like, how do you make it exciting? Um, one of the best ones is like, uh, there's a there's, there's this dude who he, uh, the main character fights that's just like a fucking pro that's been at it for a while and is just like able to do things as clean as possible, right? So he gets in to do like a little sparring match with him, and he jabs, and like every time the dude jabs him. Like, the main character just gets hit, and he doesn't understand what happened. Okay. There's no punch, and then he just gets okay, hit. Okay, Right? He's like, yeah. but I don't... Nothing happened. Nothing happened, yeah. and I got hit. I don't understand, yeah. right? And then you kind of find out that, like, so what's happening is he's punching in such a way that it's so clean that the angle of his hand and, like, the way he mm. extends his body... When somebody punches you or just jabs, you can always tell wh- before a punch comes because their body twitches in a certain mm-hmm. way. And like the whole, well, didn't you tell me like the shoulder moves first? Exactly. You look at that. The whole sport of boxing, mm-hmm. from a defensive point of view, is watching your opponent's body's twitches and prepare. In fact, this is not just boxing. This is actually combat sports. Okay. MMA in general as yeah. well. The moment they twitch a certain way, 
you immediately go into the counter position for that, mm -hmm. right? Um, and and it's it's interesting because you can actually in fighting games you do that by pressing the right button to, as soon as that you see their yeah. button come out. Well, I was gonna say it sounds like the fighting games. Well, the way that you've described it to me, where it's always like trying to guess what the next move is and trying to like counter it immediately. Yeah. And if you make the wrong guess, you've opened yourself up now. And right. Yeah. So like I, you're gonna do a bigger thing, so I'm gonna interrupt that mm -hmm. with something quicker. You know. Uh, <laughs> So you're in boxing, you twitch your shoulder mm. right before that punch comes out. Okay. This dude doesn't do it. Okay. He just extends his arm straight from neutral into a perfect jab and pulls it back and has none of those tell twitches. Okay. So to the main character, mm -hmm. the punch is invisible. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Because you're so trained to look for just those look things for that. Yeah. that the moment they're gone, it's like I got hit by an invisible punch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And it's like, that's such a great way to convey that concept in an exciting anime form. Right. You know? Super cool. The arcs down. In fact, the downward trajectory of this punch meant that Hearns often hit his opponent with his palm or forearm. Hmm. But this didn't make it any less effective. Ippo eventually beat Mashaba by punching his arm until it could barely move it, a technique commonly used by Rocky Marciano. Last is the iconic Dempsey roll, the most devastating move of the show. In his book Championship Fighting, Dempsey refers to this technique as a double shift yeah. and spends several paragraphs talking about it, suggesting So this is the main move of the show. Mm -hmm. opponent. The move involves shifting forward defensively while simultaneously throwing your punches. Dempsey used it to take the heavyweight championship from opponent Jess Willard, a man six inches taller Damn. and 60 pounds heavier than himself. <laughs> Ippo masters the Dempsey role by accident as a natural progression of the defensive and offensive movement he's been taught. You just never stop. This mm -hmm. makes perfect sense, as beyond the movements themselves, and as you keep rolling, characters are based on you dodge movement. and attack at the same time. Mm. Ippo's style is based <laughs> on the <laughs> it's, it's so it's sick. Insane. It's, it's so sick. It's the coolest <laughs> shit. <laughs> And I suspect that this crazy bastard style is based off of Prince Nassim. Yeah. And as if it's not cool enough to just see, right before he starts doing it, you hear the sounds of a jet engine starting up. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So, like, he gets into position and uh -huh. you hear... <laughs> and then he starts rolling with it and then the theme song kicks in uh -huh, uh -huh. and then it's like oh my god he's doing it hype. and it's move yeah, move yeah, move yeah. and then bam and then when the first one hits you and you're like oh that really hurt now your guard's down bam 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 you don't even bam, have time bam, to bam, think or to plan like yeah, it's such just, it's, yeah. it's 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 beautiful it's super <laughs> duper hype um yeah Seam was able to lean way further back while dodging punches. He's this guy's an yeah, this guy's an asshole too. So Nasim, he was known for he had entrances where he'd descend into the ring uh -huh. on like a lifted like throne. A platform? Oh my god. Okay. From the center, okay. wearing massive, elaborate peacock like what a robes. Douche. And he'd just yeah, be like, yeah. I simply can't be beat. <laughs> I'm the greatest. That's so and he just and he's like you're like, oh my god, I want him to... Like, he's the ultimate heel. Yeah. <laughs> right? And he played the part perfectly. In terms of getting attention uh -huh. on yourself, he took that... He took wrestling yes. persona... Uh-huh, into and boxing. He, he took a heel, exactly, attitude into boxing. And, like, the way he fights... Mm. It, it, Just it even this Encapsulates that. Fucking, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember, like, younger when I was watching and I'd see him do the, like, talking shit and then getting the ring. I'd be like, please annihilate him. And he would absolutely win. Nice. You know? And it was like, fuck! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch the next one, you know? Mm -hmm. And also punch while doing so. I can honestly tell you that this show is now one of my favorite shows of all time. The characters are well developed, the story is complex and enthralling, and the payoffs are some of the best I've ever seen. It's a perfect blend of over the top embellishment and legitimate boxing. I made a Hajami no Ipa playlist with breakdowns of the oh, yeah. use techniques. Kick the tree and then try to catch the leaves out. before oh, they touch the ground. If you have any more that's that's the episode like one like tutorial yeah, for learning yeah. how to box. Or yeah. Nice. That was fun. Yo, you kinda I kinda wanna watch this anime now. <laughs> just seeing all that like speed and the wind and just like making everything that much more like bombastic. Okay. I never recommended Ippo to you based yeah. on the fact that it's just, it is a sports, sports anime, anime. Yeah, yeah. and it's boxing yeah. and it's not necessarily <laughs> your thing. Yeah. But if you did want to check it out, it is awesome. 
Like, it's yeah. one of my favorite. It's yeah, the coolest yeah, yeah. shit. No, and, you talked this up so much. Yeah. yeah I and I mean, yeah. like, I get enjoyment out of the real thing on another. Yes. Like, I, I liked boxing before, mm-hmm. but Epo made me really mm-hmm. appreciate mm-hmm. how cool a lot of that yeah. shit is. So if you're down, absolutely check it out. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I mean, I don't know if they go into this here but what i've been finding interesting with boxing since you got into it was just how like mathematical it is almost Mm -hmm. uh like the physics of it like how can you use this muscle group in the like with the most power possible Mm -hmm. i find that so fascinating i mean there's a reason why it's called the sweet science oh is it yes i haven't heard that expression that's that's what it's called you know it is it's like you, you the moment you're like oh yeah throw a punch and you're like okay you see that connect and you see the guy go down and it's like, do you realize how little of that had to do with his hand? Well, when you were like, so it starts with my ankle. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What <laughs> like when you see someone get hit and uh-huh. they go down, uh-huh. it it has so little to do with your actual hands. Mm-hmm. Boxing has nothing to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is everything to do with the rest of your body up until that point. Mm-hmm. Your hand is just the final domino. Mm that hit, that hits the target mm-hmm. you know like a full power rotation like like ankles to to hips to core mm-hmm. shoulder like everything you know and like the difference between like using just your arms to punch or mm-hmm. your wrists to punch mm-hmm. versus your whole body yeah like again the sound the bag makes is different yes yes you know you hear a completely different sound and it feels different mm-hmm. you know um and I mean, if you ever honestly like, if you see like World Star street fights and shit like that, um, somebody that knows how to throw a punch yeah. versus someone that doesn't, it's it's the difference between when someone just kind of stands there and flails yes. awkwardly, like you know whatever, and someone that like you 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 cannot stand there and take it because the entirety of my sh- my sh- my hip rotation yeah. is forcing you to move. It's not just your arm muscle that's going into it. Yeah. It's your whole body, like your leg muscles, your core that's like transferring all this power. And once I stop and hit mm-hmm. that point of impact, like you're you're going to go in that direction, mm-hmm. you know? So, uh yeah, it, it, it there's tons of street fights where it's like, "Uh-oh, you didn't know that person knew how to fight." <laughs> yeah. Right? And even if they don't know how to fight, but they know how to throw a punch, period. Mm-hmm just that Mm -hmm. you're already like you're in trouble if you don't yeah you know um the difference between someone who is like i don't know button mashing in a fighting game versus like okay you kind of know what your move list is you know you know what a fireball and an uppercut is you already are gonna dominate the person who doesn't know anything they gotta love those like street fight videos where literally one person is flailing about and then the other person just one punch one just they know how to connect they know how to do it and that's it over that's it yeah you know but of course you gotta be fucking careful because the the more you know what you're doing the more dangerous it can be for the person who Mm -hmm. falls and like i saw i remember i saw one video where like whoa hey okay maybe it's not the best surface well no it's because i leaned okay your headphones fell, but it's all right. Um, there's a there's there's I mean there's that video of the one guy in the park who fights off three people just shifting jumping around shifting his weight and like taking them out. But like uh, there's a dude who's like I think it's like a bouncer knocks a dude out and then like catches him so that he doesn't hit the co- the concrete Shit. too hard. Yeah. And you're like yeah you got to kind of do that too <laughs> because you don't hear about it often. Mm-hmm. But there are absolutely are people who die yes. falling to the ground like that on an awkward angle uh-huh. in the middle of a street fight uh-huh. and you never you that was not what anyone intended well, but that's the way it rolled the way like uh, like i've heard it being said and it t- completely shifted my view of it is it's not just your head like that you're just falling it's someone taking a concrete slab and fucking hitting <laughs> you in the head with it like that's basically when the ground comes up to meet you exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you know you gotta gotta be careful with that too anyways uh yeah if you want epo i got i got epo <laughs>